up, internet? I know what's up. Your roof, I hope. Anyways, welcome to this totally awesome rad to... Oh. The T word is just too nerdy for me. I mean, it's like, welcome to this t Welcome to that t Oh my god, you're laughing at the t um, It's just too nerdy for me. So what I need you guys to do is comment below and give us ideas on what we should use instead of the T word. Alright? And basically, you'll kind of get rewarded by being, like, famous. You'll be listed on my channel when everyone uses the T, the other word for the T word. You'll be all, like, famous and whatnot. And I'll be like, yeah, that guy came up with it. Okay. Alright, so basically, today we're going to be getting started um, kind of like my other video, my original video. Um, how to make a logo in pages. Now, I think that pages, like... Oh, web processing and whatnot, like business and stuff. Well, we're not doing anything businessy here, but we're making a logo. Now, the thing is, is that if you're running on a Windows machine, you might want to head over to the other video, but then you might not want to because the audio quality sucks, the picture sucks, it's really long. So, yeah. Alright, I gotta get started because, you know, I like to keep these videos under 8 minutes. And we're already two minutes in. Ugh, so much time wasted, I tell you. All right. All right, let's turn that off. Because, you know, you didn't need it. You didn't need to see that on the side. Because I was about to get to that, okay? Anyways. All right, so the key operation to this is the inspector. Now, you see that little eye over there? Uh, we're just going to click that. And boom. We've got that thing. Oh, yeah. That thing. Woo! That thing right over here. It is called the inspector. Now, anything on a Mac, you really need that for. Any editing thing, any anything you're doing, you need the inspector. All right. So, the thing is, Word has this feature called Word Art. And that basically was what we were making our logos off before. Now, Pages does not have that. Pages just has text boxes, text, shapes, tables, charts. Businessy again! Alright, we gotta stop getting into businessy. We're wasting a lot of time here. Alright. So, um, we don't have that. So, we're limited to text box and shapes. Pretty much, unless you want to use charts and tables and be the nerdy guy with the chart. I'm not saying that guys' charts are nerdy, but you know what I mean. Um... <clears throat> So basically, you need to use text. And the f before I get started, you need to be downloading more fonts. The fonts that the Mac comes with is just not a lot. I mean, they're okay, but not that great. Um, so I I am gonna put out a video on how to download fonts to a Mac, and that's coming in like a couple days. All right. So <clears throat> the another key essential is the text feature that it has. Now basically it allows you to add shadows and reflections and other shiny stuff and whatnot. But the thing is, I've been living under Word 2000 for like four years, so that's probably why I think that's so cool. The newer versions of Word probably have that though, but they have to have more Word art. <laughs> Rainbow, that sucks. All right, so we're gonna start off with our text box. now. Oh, we love text boxes. We're going to make this longer because, you know, longer text boxes just look so much fun. Don't they? All right. So we're going to click this arrow thing. That's going to bring down all these numbers. Now, if you're wondering what these numbers are, they're font sizes, you idiot. I'm not supposed to be yelling. It's late. All right. We're going to press 64 because 64 is always awesome. And basically, where's our text box? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. we got to go back and like set the font size again back to 64 all right and we're gonna choose the font feast of flesh baby now you could be recognizing this from the font from angry birds all right and we're just gonna type bologna baloney because who doesn't like baloney I know the guy who doesn't like baloney doesn't like it. That was weird. All right. So we're going to have our text in the text box. And we're going to select. We're going to click away and then select it again. And you've got these boxes over here. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to click this square 
and the circle. And it's going to bring up all these options. It's going to bring down the option to fill it and stroke it, but we don't want to do that. We just want to burp. <coughs> Sorry, I just had to burp. All right, now you can add a shadow and make it all angly. But we're going to keep the shadow off for now. I'm going to use the reflection because the reflections always look cool. All right, so you got a little reflection there. You got a little reflection going. We'll bring down that opacity a little because, you know, lighter stuff just like that. What the? Doesn't it? We've got a cool thing going here. All right, so we've got our Belugna. And now you're saying, well, Mr. Macrified, um, it doesn't look like a logo to me. So that's where the shapes come in. We're going to click our shapes, and I'm going to choose a star. Stars are always so starry. So basically, since we have this and we want to put stuff and we want to move it around and whatnot, we're going to basically go to this little thingy. We're going to do in background. Now make sure, I'm like, go to your mom, punch her in the face and say, okay, don't punch her in the face, but say, make sure I chug off the box that says background objects are selectable because that's important. You're going to click it. And this check is going to come up. Now that means it worked! Kind of. Alright. So, you're also going to want to do that to your text. Now you're going to go back and go in background, and back and up to sing the legs of well. And you're going to put it right there. And you've got a star. With baloney! Booyah! Not booyah. That was just weird. So you're going to put that right there. Make it this text box a little bigger. Because I'm going to make the text a little bigger. All right, we're going to change that from 64 to 72. Now we've got that type of thing, and it's like in and out. Now the thing is, this star sucks. Look at the outline. It's just black, and it just doesn't go. So we're going to go back to our inspector. I told you guys it was important. And we're going to go click it, and we're going to go to the circle and square. And where you see it says stroke, you're going to see it says line two. Now you're going to click none. Now that none basically took away all of that black line. All right. So now we've got it somewhat like that, but we want to change the color because that green just looks so ugly. All right. So we're going to put our colors right here and we're going to do the crayons because we love the color. I'm going to change it to like a bluish. That actually looks great, but I want that like right there. And we've got a great blue, uh, but I want to make it a little specky or whatnot. So we're going to make it a little darker. And then we're going to increase the shadow. I mean the reflection. Because the reflection is actually starting to like look like something. And maybe we'll add a little reflection to the star. And then we've got a baloney star. All right, so that's all you could really do. Now, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys might want to do this in Photoshop or something like that. But if you don't got it and you're trying to make a quick little logo to make your company shine, this will should work for you. I'm not saying it will. I'm saying it should. All right, so now that we have our logo of some sort, you might say it sucks, but still, <laughs> it works. We are going to want to make it an image. All right, so now we're going to press the hotkeys, Command, Shift, and four and we're gonna get this little pinpoint thingy so now that we have our weird gunshot type thing basically we're just gonna click the mouse what I wasn't pressing four <laughs> alright so now we've got a weird gunshot type thingy we're gonna click the mouse and drag now you should have a gray box and we're just gonna get there including the thing and now It'll magically appear on your desktop. Bada bing, bada boom, you've got your logo. And I think there's just no transparencies, and it doesn't look that great, like I said before. But I made the channel icon type thingy in pages, and it works quite fine. Tell me in the comments below if you'd like me to make that. Now tune in next time. Okay, I'm just sounding too weird now. Bye! <laughs>
don't say the tea. 